sweetie, how are you doing today? Yeah, you're okay. Good, I'm glad. So I have you down as a skin consultation and then a product recommendation today, is that correct? Yeah, okay. Have you had one of these done before? No, this is your first. Okay. So what I will do first of all is just get you logged on to our system and then I will go straight ahead and conduct your consultation. I will be asking you quite a few questions as I go along. If there's anything that you're not too sure about, just be sure to ask and I will clarify it for you, okay? So let me just log you on and we can get started. So, what's your surname? Yeah. Thank you. And you're not wearing any makeup, are you, at the moment? I can see that your skin looks very clear. You're not? Okay, good. It would be fine if you were. I could just remove it before the consultation, but it just makes it a little bit easier that you've come without makeup. Okay, okay and what is your date of birth? is just lean back and get really nice and comfortable in that chair. I do have a heated blanket if you would like one. Yeah, okay. Good, I know this can make it a little bit of a relaxing treatment. So let's just get you wrapped up there. Just let me know if it's a little bit too warm because I can turn it down ever so slightly. Sometimes it can be a bit too warm, so that's okay. You can just go ahead and let me know if it is. Lift your arm up for me. Thank you. I'll just make sure that's tucked in. And your other one. Thank you. Now, does that feel okay? Yeah, it feels nice and good. Let me just make sure it's tied there so it's not too restrictive around your neck. Okay, so I am just going to pull your hair back as well, if that's okay. Are you happy for me to put it in a little bit of a bun? Yeah, okay. It just makes it a little bit easier for me to, and to look at your skin. Sometimes we can accidentally get a little bit of product on, and I don't want to do that. And of course, you have such beautiful hair as well, so I really don't want to mess that up. Just get it out from your face. Okay. Okay. And that feels okay. Yeah. You're sure not too restrictive? No. Okay. So I am going to put on my gloves now. Okay. Now, I will also be using a little bit of a light for this examination, okay? I will give you a little bit of a warning before I use it, but I know you filled in your online consultation and you're not sensitive to light. No? Okay. Yeah, sometimes we have clients who have migraines and sometimes the light can trigger that a little bit, so obviously I want to make sure that I'm not doing anything that would trigger that for you. No, you've never had any problems with those. That's good. All right. Okay, so... What I will do then is begin looking at your skin I will ask you some questions, like I said, as I'm going along. If there's anything I ask that you're confused about, just let me know and I will phrase it differently or I can just clarify it for you, okay? But don't be afraid to just let me know, okay? So, what I'd like you to do is just start by telling me what areas of concern you have in regards to your skin and how long those concerns have been there for you. Okay. Alright, so some jawline acne. Okay. 
an enlarged force. Okay. Do you find that your jawline acne is worse around certain times of the month, or do you find it's pretty consistent? Okay. Yeah, so maybe a little bit worse around your time of month. Okay. And that's quite common for acne that is concentrated in that area. It typically is known to be hormonal, although not always, but I do find with a lot of my female clients that the jawline and the chin particularly can relate to in the menstrual cycle. And with regards to the jawline acne, have you visited a dermatologist or have you mentioned it to your general practitioner? You have? Okay, good. And what was the outcome with that, sweetie? Okay. Okay, so you're taking a topical medication. Okay. Do you know what that is called? I know sometimes the names are not the easiest to pronounce, are they? Okay, adapalene. Okay. And have you noticed any improvements since you've been taking that? Yeah, you have. Okay. Would you say they've been quite significant improvements or just slight? Okay, so quite minimal. Alright, okay. Okay. And have you ever taken any oral medication for your acne? You've not? Okay. Has your doctor ever presented that as an idea for you? Okay, maybe in the future. Okay. Sweetie, what I'm going to do is just get a little bit of a damp cloth. I just want to just run it across your forehead and your cheeks just to get a little bit of a better look at those areas, okay? jawline acne, did they take a blood test from you? They did. Okay. Yeah, they were checking your hormones. Good. And what was the result from that? Yeah, there was nothing abnormal. Okay. Good. Yeah, so sometimes it is. It's completely normal just around the time of month to break out around there. I do find that some of my female clients, particularly if they have certain medical conditions, they do tend to get the acne a little bit more severe. And it's usually because there's an underlying hormonal condition there as well. But if that has been ruled out for you, then that's really good. Use a little bit of gentle cleanser. Just want to make sure that I'm seeing your skin as it naturally is and that there's no oil or anything on the skin that might just hinder my ability to be able to do that, okay? And if you can just close your eyes so I can just take a look at your eye area. Seeing is 
the jawline acne, which we have discussed, I do think you have a very mild case of it. I don't think that it's very severe at all, but that's not to say it has a mild effect on your self-esteem, your confidence, okay? It's just purely from an aesthetic point of view, it's not very severe at all, so that's typically how I would be grading it, but I know you said it does hinder your self-esteem quite a lot, so that's not to detract from what you said at all. But I do think that the overall condition of your skin is quite dehydrated. Now, when you use the Adapalene, are you using it on your forehead and your cheeks also? Yeah, okay. And what are you using in your day-to-day -day regimen? I'm just gonna get a little more closer. Okay, yeah. So benzoyl peroxide is quite strong. I wouldn't necessarily combine it with your adapalene. Um, and that may be why your skin is looking a little bit dehydrated. I would probably want to introduce more of a gentle cleanser, okay? Rather than using something so harsh onto the skin. And then the moisturizer that you just mentioned also has tea tree and niacinamide in which can be a little bit drying on the skin also. So I probably would just park those products for now and I would go with a little bit more of a gentle approach but still continuing use of your Adapalene, okay? So let me just show you this face map really quick, okay? So what I like to do with my clients is just show you a little bit of a reference photograph, okay? Sometimes when I'm touching your skin or pointing to specific areas, of course you might not necessarily be able to feel or see exactly what I'm referring to, okay? So I like to just demonstrate it on this. So I definitely think from my personal opinion, we do need to target this area here, which is the chin and the jawline. As I said, it's very mild. I wouldn't necessarily say we need to use anything in addition to the Adapalene, okay? What I'm noticing as well, particularly around here and a little bit towards here as well, so the very tip of the nose is a lot of dehydration. A little bit on the cheeks also, but predominantly on the forehead and on the tip of the nose. And I do think that's because you're using a little bit too harsh of a cleanser and a little bit too harsh of a moisturizer as well. I think that those products in isolation are really good, but I think in combination, they're not really working for your skin. Yeah, okay. I do notice a little bit of an area of enlarged pores around your nose, completely normal. Lots of people have this but it is something that we can target with a few products as well, particularly some masks that we can leave on the skin. We, of course, we can't change the size of the pores, but we can just make them look a little bit smaller and a little bit less noticeable. Your skin generally is very clear. I'm not noticing any post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. You don't have any other skincare conditions that we would typically look for, so there's no rosacea, there's no melasma, and I can't see any eczema, okay? But as I said, I think the main areas of concern for me, and I don't know, again, it's completely up to you, but I do think the products we need to be looking at today are ones that will target the dehydration but also target the jawline acne as well. Yeah, does that sound good? Okay, so let me get some products that I think would work really well for your skin. What I am going to do is just test them as well. I think it's really important that you get to see what they feel like and also the scent of the product as well, because I know from my personal experience, I do really like to know what the products smell like because I just won't use a product if it doesn't smell very nice. All right. 
So with regards to your cleanser, and as I said, I think the cleanser you're using at the moment is good. I just don't think we should be using it in addition to the adapalene, and we definitely want to continue with what your doctor has prescribed, okay? But in regards to this, and the most popular one, and I think it's most popular for a reason, because it works really well, and it is our Cassio Beauty range, and it's the Mulberry and Pomegranate Cleanser, so it's a very gentle cleanser. It feels really good on the skin, it's not drying, it's not irritating, and it will just let you smell it, because it smells absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you can really smell the mulberry, can't you? So I will just apply a little bit of this to your skin so you can feel how luxurious it feels. And what I sometimes do as well with this is use it as a double cleanse. So I will take my makeup off with it initially and I'll go ahead and cleanse afterwards as well. It's a really good makeup remover as well. Yeah, it does smell really good, doesn't it? I don't know what it is about the smell. It just really reminds me of Christmas and happiness and I don't know, just feeling really good. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a Christmas cookie type smell, hasn't it, actually? Okay, so what does that feel like on your skin? Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? It feels really heavy, I think, initially, and then as you work it in, yeah, it starts to feel really light on the skin. And then, of course, you would just cleanse it off with either a muslin cloth or you can use just a simple towel as well. So that is what I would recommend you to cleanse with. So of course you're doing this prior to applying your Adapalene. You can put it on twice, so once as I said to remove your makeup, and then just make sure you double cleanse with it if you have worn quite a bit of makeup as well. I always like to double cleanse. Even on days where I don't wear that much makeup, I think it just makes me feel a little bit more clean and fresh and ready to go to bed. Okay. So what you can also do, and this is optional, but I do think it would be good for your skin type, particularly to try and target the dehydrated portions of your skin. This very gentle exfoliator. Now I know you might be thinking if your skin's a little bit dehydrated, then I don't necessarily wanna put any exfoliator on, but this really helps to de-slough the dead skin cells because you do have quite a bit of a buildup on your forehead and I do think we do need to use something to really encourage cell turnover there. I think there's a little bit of a buildup on there. Okay. Now the adapalene is a retinoid so it will do that in itself. It does increase cell turnover and therefore will help with this but I do think that Particularly with your forehead, I think we should be using something a little bit more gentle, okay? So this is our facial exfoliator, and I will just apply a little bit to the skin. This has a very small amount of glycolic acid in, but it's a really small amount, so you don't get any irritation or inflammation that I know sometimes with glycolic acid, it can be a little bit strong. So I'm just going to, and this feels really goopy, doesn't it? But again, it's really nice. It's a really luxurious feel, isn't it? do have another exfoliator if you wanted me to try that on you as well. 
I will just put this on your cheeks because I don't want to obviously layer these exfoliants on um, top of each other. That wouldn't be good. So let me just show you this one I have up here. And this one is one of my personal favorites. So it has glycolic acid in, but it also has a little bit of vitamin C. Now I can't wait for you to smell this because it's absolutely beautiful. It smells like a really fresh Mediterranean summer. So let me put a little bit of this on. And it's a really thick, I'll just show you, a really thick, goopy exfoliator. I absolutely love this one. So like I said, I will just put it onto your cheeks because we don't want to layer it up, but you can see it's almost like a body scrub. It's really thick and goopy. It's so nice. Yeah, the smell is really good. I think it's scented with mandarin, which is giving it that really beautiful scent. And as I said, the general clarity of your skin is really good, but the vitamin C can just help with brightening as well. So that's always a positive. But you really don't need, I wouldn't say you need to brighten the skin at all. I think your general skin tone is beautiful. Yeah, you prefer that one. Okay, absolutely. I think that, as I said, is my favorite as well. So let me just go ahead and remove those. Masks. Is it something that you've used in the past? Yeah. Okay, you do like a mask. Okay. And when you use your masks, do you typically use one once a week? Or I know some people come in and they're actually masking on a daily basis. What is your preferred routine in regards to masking? Yeah, so you do like to do it every few days, okay? Are you using any masks at the moment? No, yours has just run out. Okay, what one was you using? Okay, yeah, so that's good. It's a very gentle mask, so that's one that I would recommend. So we do carry that here, so you can repurchase it if you would like. I would be tempted, let me see, I would probably be tempted to use a little bit more of a hydrating mask, okay? The one you use that you said has just run out is very good. There's a lot of moisturizing factors in there, but I think we could use something a little bit more hydrating just to really try to tackle this dehydration. So, let me see. So, it's going to be of no surprise that it is from the same range. This is personally one of my favorite ranges. I feel like it's a really good combination of products that have actives in, but they also are very gentle on the skin as well. None of the products 
feel really drying or harsh and they're really good to use in combination with prescription medication as well, topical prescription medication. Okay, so this is our facial mask. This actually has white nettle and chamomile in. And I'll just show you, it's a really nice consistency as well. So let me show you. This applies again, everything applies so nice, but you can see it's a really nice thick mask. Then we'll pop this on. I will just give you a, a little bit of a facial massage with this as well because it feels really nice. Just massage them to the skin. just use this as a leave-on mask. What I sometimes like to do is get a little bit of a skincare tool. So I have a facial brush here. What I like to do is actually work the mask in with the So just be sure that when you're going on your jawline, just be a little bit extra gentle. We definitely don't want to aggravate or irritate that light acne that you have there, okay? Alright. So what we also do with the facial brush is we include it as a complimentary gift with any of the purchases um, that I've showed you today. Now, let me see. Yeah, that mask is probably ready to come off. So we'll just wipe that off. Now, in regards to your moisturizer, we do have a moisturizer in that same range, but I do think we should probably, I would probably say we can go a little bit more simple, actually. We don't necessarily need to use one from that range, so I'd probably suggest with your skin type we use one of these. We do have the simple range. It's very hydrating, it's very light, and it doesn't really feel super thick on the skin or we do have the Cetaphil Night Cream, so it feels a little bit more thick on the skin. I'll just show you. But they both are really hydrating, even though the first one I showed you is a little bit lighter, it's still very hydrating. But you can see with this one, it's a little bit, yeah, a little bit more thick, definitely. I'll just show you how this feels on the skin as well. Yeah, you like this type of sensation though. Yeah, absolutely. I do find with moisturizers, I do actually feel like they're moisturizing my skin. And I like to almost feel them sitting on the top. Okay, so those are my skincare recommendations for today. I will write everything down and then when you go to the reception desk it's entirely up to you whether you want to purchase any of them and we also have some sample sizes as well if you'd like to maybe try those first. Yeah, I do find those are really effective at just seeing actually over the course of a week whether we still like the way it feels on the skin and of course in a week we should see some element of a result as well. Alright, let's take your hair out of that bun. And get your nice hair back 
down. What I do like to offer my clients, and it's completely up to you, but I do just like to finish my consults with the lights a little bit lower, and I do like to give a scalp massage, but again, it's completely up to you. I know if people are going somewhere after this, they may not necessarily want oils going on their hair. No, you're not. You're going to wash it later on anyway. Okay, so would you like me to do a little bit of a scalp massage? Yeah, absolutely. So I will just take off my gloves for this if that's okay. And I will just dim the lights ever so slightly. And I'll just use the oil. to close your eyes if that's more comfortable for you and you can just rest in the chair and you can stay there for as long as you want so there's absolutely no rush at all Thank you. 